All right, thank you, and welcome back to Deadwood Casting and Turning. Today, we're going to be making some abrasive paste and some shine polish. But before we get to that, I have to introduce a very important new member of our produ production team. Meet Sparkle the Unicorn. He will actually be holding my phone, because I'm filming this on an iPhone X, so we can actually film the rest of the video, since a piece I need for my tripod has not come in yet. So, welcome Sparkle. Now, today I want to talk about some things. First off, let me give a great big shout out to Townsend Honey Farm. They're the person that I got all this beeswax from. I got a one pound block of beeswax off of their Etsy page for $8. Which some people are like, oh, that's $8. Well, when you consider at the local hardware store, I have this seven tenths of an ounce of beeswax that I paid $4.60 for. So, economically, you know, you can't beat the price. Plus, Townsend Honey Farm is located in the city of Stark, which is where I'm at right now. So, you know, I'm shopping local, I'm helping out some local folks, and it's just a great opportunity. So saith the Lord. <laughs> so, since it's starting to rain, and I need to set the table up, for the actual crafting part of the abrasive paste and the shine polish, please enjoy this preview of Townsend Honey Farm's Etsy page. Welcome back. So the table's now set up to make this. And what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using, for the shine polish, we're gonna be using mineral oil and beeswax. For the abrasive paste, we're gonna be using mineral oil, beeswax, and diatinaceous earth. Now, something you need to know about diatinaceous earth, there's two brands. There is a food safe brand from Harris um, that I'm going to be using because I know that I'm going to be making bowls and cups that will be actually used to drink out of. And there's a non-food safe brand. So depending on what you're doing depends on what you want to do. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the shine polish. So this is a one to four ratio. So you're going to take one ounce of beeswax and you're going to put it in a double boiler. I'm using a hot plate with a pot of water and as you can see, you know, in a glass mixing bowl. And then I'm going to put four ounces of mineral oil. Now the mineral oil that I'm using is Again, a food safe material. It is what is used on butcher blocks and things of that nature. And this is all stuff that I got. Well, the mineral oil and the diatinaceous earth I got at the local hardware store. So, we got to let that melt. As you can see, it's doing. And once that melts, we'll mix it up and we'll go from there. So, once 
everything is melted together. You want to stir it. And again, this is the shine polish, so this is just mineral oil and beeswax. You want to stir it and take it off the heat and set it to the side. And you want to let it start cool. Now once it starts cooling and a film starts on it where the wax starts to reharden, then we can put it in a jar and let it cool completely before it Let it cool completely before it uh before you cover it up now as you can see it's starting to wreath thicken so at this point we can put it in our jar and let it go to completely you know re-solidify before we use it and again just make sure everything is nice and cool before you cap it off. Okay, so let's do that. And we're going to use this jar. So, sorry about this, folks. I'm doing this one handed so y'all can get a closer view. Now, this can go back and get ready for the next one. Start warming up for the next one. So now, we're going to make the abrasive paste. So, for this, this is a 1 to 1 to 4 ratio. So, for every 1 ounce of beeswax, you're going to add four ounces of mineral oil and one ounce of diatomaceous earth. So we're gonna put our beeswax in our double boiler and I chopped this one up so it melts a little bit quicker. So and as you can see, it's already starting to melt. So then we're gonna add our mineral oil. and now we just wait for that to melt okay as you can see the beeswax has melted now now we're going to add our diatomaceous earth in here and once we do that, it's very important that we continue to mix it because as you can see, it doesn't really blend real well and we want an even consistency on our shine polish. So we need to just continue to mix it thoroughly. And then once it, we get all the lumps out and we get it nice and smooth, what we'll do is we'll take it off the heat and we have to keep mixing it so it doesn't separate. So now we're going to take it off the heat, turn the burner off, and we're going to keep mixing so it doesn't separate on us. All right. And now we're going to move it off of the double boiler and onto the table like we did before. So it can start to cool. The whole time we're gonna mix it. We're gonna keep mixing it, keep stirring it.
That way the components don't separate and we get a nice, even, smooth consistency. So as you can see, our abrasive paste is thickening up now and it's a nice, even, smooth consistency. So this is this is really good. This is this is perfect, almost perfect for what we need. So now I'm gonna grab its jar and we'll put it in its jar. And again, you don't want to cap this while it's still warm. You want to wait until it cools completely um, and then you want to uh, put the lid on it and cap it. So And there we have it. We have our abrasive paste, which will go on while we're, see while we're sanding. And we have our shine polish, which will go on at the end. So, um, just a little disclaimer. I first saw this recipe over at Awesomeology. And, you know, I wanna give a shout out to him so the link to this video will be either in the description or up in the corner if I can figure out how to do that. So again, Tim, thanks for the recipe for this. And um, y'all go check out his channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and there you have it. We have our abrasive paste and our shine polish. Both are pretty well cool right now. I'm gonna let them cool off a little bit longer before I actually put these lids on it. Um, again, I wanna give a shout out to Tim over at Awesomeology for, you know, basically inspiring this video. So, if you liked it, just hit that subscribe button, share it, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications, because on the next video, we're actually going to take this Lego head looking piece of wood and we're going to make something out of it. So if you're interested, tune in for the next one.